Carolina is taking a big step toward returning businesses to normal operations today. Effective today, COVID-19 safety measures related to the sale of alcohol and mass gatherings have been lifted. Restaurants and bars previously had to cut off alcohol sales at 11 p.m. and you needed permission from the state for events with more than 250 people. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Morris joins us live from Fort Mill. Kendall, uh, what does this mean for businesses in the state? Well, Sarah, business owners that we spoke to today here in South Carolina are breathing a sigh of relief. It's quite a contrast to the restrictions that are in place if you hop on this highway and head a few miles north into North Carolina. This is the day timeout in Rock Hill has been waiting for since March 2020. It does feel like maybe we're, we're going to start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's getting brighter. It's open light will be staying on a little later than it has the past few months. We're going to stay open one hour extra. Uh, that's till 12 a.m. Uh, we're going to see how that goes and once once we get a good grasp of how, how everybody's doing, we're going to slowly keep going to two. While South Carolina is easing all restrictions on alcohol sales, North Carolina's cutoff just moved back to 11 p.m. My go to joke was, yeah, we're, we're kind of like a diet Florida, you know, it, we're, we're almost like them, but we're not quite. We're, we're still trying. Dioria's in Fort Mill is still encouraging customers to wear a mask, use sanitizer and social distance, preparing to serve customers till 2 a.m. We'll be able to, you know, hire more people and keep more people employed. Oh, we already and, have. Yeah, we got we already hired two other people and we're, you know, looking to see if we need more. The bar is already adjusting the hours of its St. Patrick's Day party. The owner's trying to get back in the late night routine. Uh, Drink some coffee, I guess, mm -hmm. boost us up. I don't no think Red it's going to happen. I don't think that people are going to push it till two right away. I think it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment. The bar waiting to see if customers fill the seats the whole night, just like old times. And for large gatherings in South Carolina, many COVID-19 safety guidelines are now recommended, not mandated. Face coverings and social distancing are strongly encouraged. Live in York County, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte.